thousands of kids in need in Brown County are stocking up on school supplies. Several agencies coming together to help those struggling families make sure their kids are ready to head back to the classroom. It's called the One Stop School Shop. Kristen Allen there live at the Crest Center where it's happening. Kristen, how many kids are registered for this event? Tammy, 3,500 kids will be shopping here today at the One Stop School Shop, but organizers say that they know the need is even greater than that. So for those who missed the opportunity to register today, there will be a chance to get school supplies. If you have children uh, or students who need them, you'll be able to do that after today. And they'll be shopping here behind me. You can see all these school supplies that are set up and ready to go. It starts in just a little while here at 7 o'clock this morning. Traditionally, this was known as the Back to School Store organized by the Service League, but this year several agencies have come together along with the Service League, such as the Howe Resource Center, the Salvation Army, and New Cap, making it the new one-stop school shop where families can get everything in one place. Today, students will be shopping with volunteers to pick out school supplies. Everything from these basic supplies you see right here to shoes and underwear as well. There's also resources available to connect families to things such as eye exams and immunizations. Inflation and the rising cost of prices for food and other items is putting an extra burden on families, forcing them to sometimes have to choose between the basics and things like school supplies. The One Stop School Shop aims to relieve that burden. I think that the majority of what we're seeing now is people are just wanting to get food on their table. So then they're going, where are we going to come up with all of this extra? You know, and it's like even hygiene products. Um, so hygiene products or school supplies. So if you miss the registration for today's event starting tomorrow, you can contact the Howe Resource Center and they will be able to help you get the supplies that you need for your child. Reporting live in Green Bay, Kristen Allen, Action 2 News.